Christ and join in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Join us as we uh, reflect on those serving in the United States Armed Forces past and present, the elected leaders of the state of Pennsylvania, and the elected leaders of the nation. We have much to be thankful for. Executive session of this on January 28th uh, of the O.J. Roberts Board of School Directors. And I'm sorry, Monday, January 12th at 7 p.m. in Frederick Elementary School, and Wednesday, January 28th at 6 15 p.m. in the high school library to discuss legal and uh, personnel matters. Item number four, superintendents report to the board. Thank you, Mr. Top. Item 4.1, student government. First, for the high school. Beginning Tuesday, January 27th, the high school welcomed over 150 elementary students who will be participating in after school language academy. More language students from the high school will be teaching elementary students French, German, Latin, and Spanish once a week for eight weeks in total. The natural is OGR's newest select a cappella group will be performing at the State Capitol building on Wednesday, March 25th, 2015 from 10 a.m. to 10.55 a.m. as part of the PMEA's Music Advocacy Day. The PMA Region 6 choir was alternate, and the following students placed. Cheyenne Hales, 7th grade, soprano 2. Leah Muthler, 4th place, soprano 1. Conrad Sacred, 7th place, bass 1. And Michael Steyer, 6th place, tenor 1. Latin Club collected over 650 trick-or-treat for UNICEF. Latin Club is again collecting pink Euclid yogurt lids in support of breast cancer research. Wildcat Math is based towards the high school elective programs to the 8th grade class this month. The ambassadors went to the middle school as well to assist the counselors while the 8th graders were choosing their electives from Skyward. The Anchor Club hosted a successful senior citizen tea prior to winter break. 130 people attended total. Now on to the middle school. Winter sports are off to a great start with basketball, cheerleading, and wrestling program. The middle school would like to recognize their spelling bee champion, Robin Malin. He will compete in the county spelling bee on February 9th. The middle school would also like to acknowledge the science department and efforts in hosting our annual science fair on Thursday, January 22nd. They identified 10 award winners to move on to the county level in March. Finally, the student faculty basketball game hosted by the Builders Club will be held on February 6th to raise money for cancer research. Elementary news. Congratulations to the North Country Elementary Water Color Wildcats and the East Vincent Ryan Steins Lego teams who have advanced to the first state FLL regional championship to be held in mid February at Delaware State University. Now on East Country. Enjoy nature's candy fruit. Get going with breakfast. East Country students sang along with these and several other songs during a recent school wide assembly. The Worldwide Assembly Program jumped with chill, stop them. Stop by the school for two rock assemblies on January 20th. The message of the assembly is that healthy eating matters, regular exercise is important, and good nutritional habits form perfect. February 8th events at the school include pizza video and movie night. Now on East Vincent. Three teams of East Vincent students will be presenting at the P and C conference on February 10th. The topics to be covered include STEM design challenge, the hour of code, student leadership team, learning on niche STEM, and first language. The students' goal is to share their experiences and personal growth in using digital tools as well as their opportunities to serve as technologically leaders at East Vincent Elementary School. Now on the French Beat. The French Beat Lego team, the Blockheads, did an amazing job at the first Lego League regional tournament. Please congratulate them for earning the highly commendable and sought after gracious professionalism trophy. Team members earned this award by showing distinguished character and teamwork during all parts of the competition. Now on to the North Country. As a coordination to the government unit, third grade students are partaking in a candy bar election, which has everything to do with campaigning good debate. 
Both grades enjoy the presentations of nuclear energy from Leonard Power Plant Engineers. Students also had the opportunity to compete in a poster contest by creating a poster that showed the importance of nuclear energy. Mr. Zaleski's student, Brooke Van Vanninger, was chosen as a finalist. Sixth grade students are studying about young activists. Kid kids their age who have made a difference in the world. Every student will e use these activists as inspiration to develop plans that they can enact a positive social change. And finally, with West Benson. On Thursday, January 15th, the West Benson's anti-bullying team kicked off the implementation of the oldest bullying prevention program with a school-wide assembly. The assembly focused on defining bullying, exploring a different type of bullying, and introducing, introducing an anti-bullying team member. The team ended the program with a powerful video in which teachers and staff members from around the building reiterated an important message to students. We care. We are here for you. The short video can be viewed on West Benson's Facebook page. This concludes my report. Thank you very much. Thank you, Zang. I'd like to commend uh, Dr. Martini and Dr. Soder and the World Language Department for the successful kickoff. came to the Dalton High School yesterday for their first immersion into the world language, but that's, that's a program that has existed in some of our elementary schools, but now it's available to all of them on the main campus and you get to see uh, high school as well. Item 4.2, School Director Recognition Month. Every January, we recognize our volunteer board members. Uh, and I'd like to take a moment to read this proclamation and thank you, uh, all of our school directors, for the time they sacrificed to the district, not just the Whereas the role of locally elected school officials has served the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and local communities in meeting the needs of public education since the passage of the Free School Act in 1834, and whereas these local boards have discharged the responsibility of to public education in a manner which has placed public education in the forefront of our educational systems, and whereas locally elected officials have distinguished themselves and their communities in this non native voluntary public service commitment, and whereas the contributions of these men and women should be recognized and appreciated by those who benefit from the workings of our public school systems. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Directors of, of the Pennsylvania School Boards Association hereby proclaims the month of January as School Director of Recognition Month in this Commonwealth, and further resolved that this proclamation be communicated to all school districts, school officials, local communities and a planned program which brings visibility and awareness of the role of locally elected school officials to the citizenry of this Commonwealth. Thank you for your service to the district and most importantly to the children of the district. Thank you, Dr. Christian Wright. I truly thank my colleagues for the time, talent, and energy. Not only here, but you do quite well, but all across the Commonwealth. I'm traveling around. will be held in Hershey in mid-February. Two of our East Vincent teachers, Karen Don and Brooke Sarkar, will be presenting a session on the power of code and beyond. Attendees will learn how East Vincent introduced computer programming to every student in every class and empowers student leaders during a week-long power code initiative. Developmentally appropriate activities for every grade and experience level will be shared. We actually held power code in each of our schools this year, not just at East Vincent, but A reminder to our community, uh, there is no school for students on February 13th and 16th. A high school post-prom fashion show, which is always a sellout, will be held on February 20th. On tonight's agenda, we have next year's school calendar to be approved. It's our, a draft has already been posted on the website. And as per board policy, we will be beginning school prior to Labor Day next year. Um, so we have to have had the draft up there uh, since the new year. Finally, I'd like to take, turn it over to Mr. Lacoff so that we may recognize Mr. James Brees as past president at the uh, school board in 2013-14. Mr. Lacoff. Mr. Brees, I want to 
especially thank you for your service to our district. I can see now all the extra work you've had to put in. I want you to graduate and congratulate you on doing an excellent job. Please hang us in a prominent place in your own room.
consequently that it's partly mutable on Monday, January 12th, 2015. The committee reviewed three policies. Policy 204, um, which deals with attendance. Policy 806, which deals with, actually, I think the numbers are mixed up. I believe that's two. Um, I have the number mixed up, but it's child abuse. I think it's 806, and policy 916, uh, which deals with the volunteer policy. Policy 806, child abuse, was moved forward to the full board for first reading. Policy 204 and 2 and 916 were held for further review. The policy 916, which deals with um, volunteers is going to do a lot of work and it will improve, you know, it will impact the way that um, the school district has to deal with volunteers in the future. The next legislative policy committee meeting is scheduled for Monday, February 9, 2015 at 7.30 p.m. at West Vincent Elementary School in the primary commons. That concludes my report. Thank you, Mr. Flack. Well, the first of all, my name is Mr. Holt.
national awards for schools and also the Kentucky School Board. Did you remember to call a congressman or you call him Brian? Call him, sir. <laughs> Thank you. 
approval of student activity clubs and organizations. Do I hear a motion? Second. Mark Second. You seconds. Any discussion? All those in favor, please say by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item 1410, approval of progress attendance. Second. I call the moves. Second. You seconds. Any discussion? All those in favor, please say goodbye by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item 1411, approval of accelerated budget opt out resolution certifying tax rate within inflation index. Freeze moves. Second. Moves seconds. Any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. Item 1412, award of bids in accordance with CCIU joint purchasing agreement. Marcus moves. Second. Moves seconds. Any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item 1413, approval of parameter resolution. Freeze moves. Two seconds. Um, in the form of discussion, I'd like to get a report from our professionals here to explain what the parameters will be. So it's on. Yes, yes. Sir, it's on. Mr. Willis, could you give us the, uh, yeah. the short and the English? said, um, we thought since the, the time to really make that decision would be when we were ready to go to market, which would take about a month to decide to go forward tonight. We thought, or what we're going to propose to tonight is to worry about the parameter resolution, which among other things will allow that decision to be made by the professionals in conjunction with the CFO, Jackie Plumline, and the chair of the finance committee, and the president of the school board. Um, and when that being said, let me turn to page three. I thought we just mentioned the key, key points of the resolution. I mean, as I was just saying, the first bullet point, um, we would authorize the group to make the decision once we're ready to go to market. And once that decision would be made, uh, as you may recall from some of the pre previous conversations, we have the flexibility to go to market at any time, not just the day of the school board meeting. One other key aspect of the parameters is that we had to determine what the savings structure would look like. And in the consultation with Jackie, um, her preference was that we try to achieve uh, as 
as close to the level overall safety data as possible. Uh, lastly, uh, an important aspect of, of these resolutions is that, um, as you have done in the past, you um, need to specify a minimum savings level um, uh, to obtain what you make the decision uh, throughout. And so, uh, uh, the, prefer the, the recommended minimum savings level proposing is 5%. However, um, with that being said, we know that the preference would be to get 7 to 8% savings, and that's what we would ideally shoot for. Um, one of the other uh, requirements for the savings level 5% is that uh, you remember when I was using the term negative arbitrage, which is essentially uh, uh, a, a cost for refinancing the greater, the more in advance of call data, 2006 notice, et cetera, from the greater that cost. So we're proposing that well, as long as the savings are 5%, they have to be at least two times that cost of negative arbitrage. And, you know, as I said, we're going to have that recommended savings. Side to uh, go forward with this proposal, we would be uh, approving this parameter resolution. I should say. I think we could be ready to go into market if the conditions are right. Either issue one, bond issue for all of it, or the first of the two issues uh, by the end of February, and then we close it probably not in March. So um, I'd be mean, happy to answer any questions you might have. I have. Uh,
motion is to approve the contract with public financial management and, uh, to prepare the interest rate management plan, which has already been prepared and which is part of these documents, uh, for a fee of $5,000. And uh, I would like to say that uh, PFM has been very helpful in this process as financial advisor and part of the financial team. Uh, there's been a lot of discussion back and forth and a lot of evolution of these proposals and uh, the whole team has worked well together. So it's, it's, it's those three items that we need approved in, in order to have authority to proceed as the markets uh, are appropriate to proceed. Thank you, Mr. Table. I'm sorry, Commissioner Walker. And we probably, probably should allow public financial management to say a word or two as well before, before it votes. Please do. <coughs> Uh, good evening. It's good to, to be here. Um, uh, Chris and I have been working with the team, as Mr. Kegel mentioned, and Mr. Lilly as well. The first comment that I'd like to make is that uh, you know, we've been working with the district on some of the interest rate management plans and swaps in the past. This is our first chance to work in this capacity on volume. I really want to compliment the staff, the administration, the finance committee. You take these matters very seriously. And when we get an engaged committee, when we get an engaged CFO, Really, some good sound discussions are circled around these um, these uh, opportunities. So I really want to thank you for that, for that, that great attention to this matter. It gives us confidence to be able to make recommendations along the way. We do believe that passing this collaborative resolution is in your best interest. We do agree with the savings targets that have been set forth. We do agree that these two options are two best for the school district. We'll, when we get to the end of February, we'll look at you know, possibly uh, what are the options, what are option two better. And, yeah, and we'll determine those things. But uh, we do think to get to this point, we've made some sound decisions that we agree with. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One other minor comment. The, the resolutions that were uploaded on your computer had dates that were January 26. Uh, since then, we've had to change them. Opportunities arise, they will contact me, and then I will be in touch with obviously Mr. Kimmel, Dr. Christian, Mr. Freeze, and Mr. McCall. Thank you for your attention today. All of the costs have not been pinned down yet because we're not quite sure of which option we're going with. But uh, again, uh, they will be pinned down before that time, and that information will be shared with the board. Thank you. Further questions? consider this to be the discussion for all three options, all three um, uh, items, the agenda items, uh, but let's look at them separately as, as they appear here in the agenda. So we're at the point of calling for a vote on item 14.13. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item 14.14. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, okay, well, we better, we better use separate. We better use separate. Okay, we'll start with you. Please, uh, someone make that motion, please. Move by phrase. Second. Second by client filter. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. I have 14.14. Second. What if that was 14.14? This is 14.15. Second. Um, Move by roll, second by freeze. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you all for all your hard work. Save us some money, please. <laughs> Item 14.16 Approval of submission of Plan Con A and Plan Con B for the East Vincent Facilities Improvement Project. Motion? So moved. Moved moves? Second. Why don't you 
seconds. Is there any discussion? <laughs> All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion carries. Item 14.17, approval of the final assessment appeal. Please move. Few seconds, any discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion carries. Item 14.18, approval of professional services and more maintenance agreements. So I hear a motion. So moved. Move moves. Second. I'd like all your seconds. Any discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. Item 14.19, approval to approve proclamation. Um, let, let's let's um, move this to my one. Dr. Christian to have a comment. Sorry to move this much. Still moves. Two seconds. Any discussion? Can we get an explanation, Dr. Christian? Uh, yes, Pottstown is celebrating their 200th anniversary uh, this year, and our homecoming queen has been invited to participate in the festivities. Next week, uh, and also the culminate, I believe, in July, uh, July 4th parade. Um, uh, local school districts in the areas. Uh, homecoming Week will be participating uh, and the first event uh, is presenting the matter with the proclamation uh, celebrating the Pottstown's bicentennial, which is on February, uh, uh, taking place in the ceremony on February 6th. So local school districts are supporting this event. Thank you, Director Christian. Number 16, the board requests information. Do you have any requests? 